Um, college football is big business, and uh, and there's the facilities, the, you know, the, this museum. You know, today it was over the the. Um, the football facilities, and it's beautiful. I mean, it's, it's just unbelievable. The academic center, all those things that we have. Um, but every school has that now. Um, every SEC school, USC, Ohio State, Michigan, they all have that. Um, but what I think separates um, all those schools from LSU um, is, is the fans um, and what they're able to do uh, and how special they're, they're able to make it uh, for the players. Uh, this weekend's kind of neat for me. Um, I, I bring my six-year-old son uh, to his first ever uh, LSU game. So um, and it reminded me uh, of how exciting it was um, for me to be here. Um, you know, I told him that we're, we're coming in, and um, last night we got to go see him put the stickers on the helmets and, and do all that. He got to go play in the indoor facility. I told him we were going to go on the field um, during game day. I think he, he even gets to come out for the coin toss. And, you know, pretty much every little kid's dream. Uh, and he looks at me, and you know, he's really excited. And he said, yeah, that's great. He said, uh, he said do you think I'm going to get to feed the tiger, though? He <laughs> said, so he could be a little greedy, right? Uh, he could be appreciative of a little bit. Um, but you know, I think... Um, you know, as he alluded to, to my background, um, you know, I was uh, recruited uh, to Michigan State by the, the former coach. I won't even say his name. <laughs> but, uh, you know, to play uh, football and baseball, and then I went into the Cubs organization and played for three and a half years. Um, so when I got to LSU, I was a little bit older, um, but I think they gave me a unique perspective um, on things and helped me to appreciate um, things a little bit more um, while I was here. And I think the one thing um, that I'm most proud of um, is what the program was like. Uh, I was speaking to someone earlier, and, um, uh, I think it was Barry, about uh, those Curly Holman years and Donardo years when things weren't so great. Um, and when I got here um, with that former coach, things weren't uh, The players that we had here um, weren't, um, uh, I guess, didn't represent, I think, what the fans wanted uh, to be as an LSU player. Um, and so to see that transformation, um, and it not only was it because we got the right coach and the right players, uh, but also because uh, the fans were willing to embrace that um, and you know, came out and support, um, came out and, and donated uh, to things. And we, the reason that we were able to have such beautiful facilities um, and came out, uh, you know, I remember kind of the, the point where I felt like um, the program had kind of turned around um, was in 2003, uh, we were playing Georgia. And it was the first time, and game day was here, and it had been, I can't tell you how long until game day had been on the campus. And we were ranked, I think, in the top six, and so was Georgia. And my favorite part, uh, one of my favorite parts uh, of playing here was the Tiger Walk, where the bus drops you off and you come down. And it was always good, you know, enough people to kind of line the whole thing and you walk down. But I remember that Georgia game, the bus pulls up and you get off, and literally you could not see the ground. Uh, there was that many people. Um, I think they had estimated like 250,000 people uh, in the stadium and then outside. Um, and, and then to be able to win that game, uh, the last second uh, touchdown, um, I think really allowed the players and the fans to, to realize that LSU um, was back and, uh, and where it should be. And luckily, um, you know, through the efforts of the, the, the people that are here and through the efforts of the fans, uh, it has stayed that way. Um, and something that I'm extremely proud of to have been uh, the part of kind of building that uh, to where it is today. Um, you know, I, I get this question a lot with uh, with concussions and things like that, people always ask me. So, you know, I have two young boys, a six-year-old and a two-year-old, and they said, you know, they always ask, oh, would you want your kids to play football?" And uh, and I said, without a doubt. I said, uh, not only because of what um, I think football brings out in you as a person, um, kind of makes you um, test yourself uh, to see, you know, if you're willing to kind of go that extra mile. Uh, it's kind of a scary thing. Uh, I'm a pretty big guy, but I'm not that big. Uh, and to have a 300 pound uh, guy running at you and then landing on top of you, it's not always the funnest thing in the world. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so, you know, it gives you the courage to go out and do that. But I think more than anything, um, 
playing football, and who knows if they'll ever be able to play at this level, um, but just the opportunity to maybe be able to do that um, and, and to get a chance to um, live some of those uh, dreams that you have, uh, I hope they, they get that opportunity. Um, you know, for me, uh, football and, and being here at LSU has provided so many opportunities um, in my life. Um, I remember when I was applying for uh, dental schools, uh, I'd only applied uh, to LSU coming out because I knew I was going to go to the NFL, and then I applied to Colorado and Washington. And I went in on my interviews, and all they talked about was LSU football <laughs> the whole entire time. I said, I, I don't know if I'm confident enough to be here, but I know that they like football. <laughs> Uh, but, but I think that it does that throughout life. Um, and I tried to, you know, I actually had uh, lunch today with um, uh, Zach Benberger, and he and I, I was telling him just about um, to cherish every moment while he's here. Um, because uh, what you don't realize is when you get done, um, the network that you have uh, that's in place. Uh, and it's because, of, like I said, the fans, um, and they're able to provide that. You know, I live in Denver now, and last weekend I went and watched the game with 300 people. <laughs> and they were uh, they were there, and it was it almost felt like you were in Tiger Stadium. Uh, they were that excited um, and that passionate about it. Um, so I think it was just for me today tonight was just an opportunity to say thanks. I know this is a small um, group of people to be able to say that to, but um, I think. Uh, the fans don't realize how important and how special they make it for the players. Uh, and I think it's what makes LSU unique uh, compared to any other place. Um, I've had the opportunities to <coughs> go to other schools and, uh, and to visit other places. Uh, and even in the NFL, uh, people ask me that. They're like, oh, man, that was great to be in the NFL. And it was nice, but nothing compared uh, to being at LSU. Um, and so I just want to thank you. Um, for allowing me that opportunity, and uh, you know, luckily we were able to have a little bit of success um, while I was here, and uh, it's great to see that that success uh, is continuing today.